Lash, and I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos at the World Economic Forum. Absolutely delighted to be joined by Yves Dacourt, Director General of the ICRC. Thank you so much for coming. Pleasure to be here. Tell me about connecting businesses with humanitarian work. I think when you have to think about humanitarian work, you have to think about the people we try to serve. And my organization work really in a difficult places where you have extreme poverty, fragile state, and violence, which means Syria uh, today or Afghanistan. And I think it's m very important for us to be able not only to respond to the needs of the people, but to understand what will be their expectation over time. And how can we use technology to really make their life better, especially frugal technology. And that's mm -hmm. the critical issues. We what cannot, do you mean frugal technology? Frugal is something which is been, can be used by people. Because if you bring something where there is just no power or no connections, and there is still places where there are very low communication mm -hmm. or low mob mobile or connections. So you need to bring technology which makes sense to people and which are then being able to be scaled up. And I, th that, I think this is what is interesting to connect with private sectors, but also people who think about that. So give me some examples. What are you doing? Very concretely, you have example when you have problems Ebola. Uh, we had at the beginning of Ebola a major problems. People be were very worried about doctors and uh, Red Cross volunteers. They felt they was not sure. There was a lot of mistrust. We use mobile phone, very classical, awareness message. Very simple, very direct. That is the classical communication, but that works very well. Other element is about cash transfer and mm -hmm. payment. And we do that in Somalia, for example. Today in Somalia, uh, if you go in Mogadishu, you would find uh, elderly people uh, with a very small phone being able mm -hmm. to, in fact, buy at the market level. And for us, what we do, we have made some assessments with them. We have looked at the communities, and then we do cash transfer directly to them. We do the same in Jordan uh, with refugee. And what we find very interesting is that people then, it's empower them. Mm -hmm. That's their choice of what they will buy and how it works. And it's a much easier and much direct contact between the people and ourselves. What keeps you up at night? What worries you? What worries me is the world in which we operate. I'm, to be honest, I'm slightly uh, overwhelmed by the world in which we operate. <laughs> me too. No, no, but it's, what is interesting is, is the combination of two things. One, a world which is great, uh, globalized, connected, and at the same time, incredibly fragmented. Mm -hmm. And I feel that. You know, my people are working everywhere, very closely related to that. And I think what worries me is to see that you would have some part of the world which will it may almost disappear mm -hmm. from our interest. Look at Sahel. Remember, a few years ago, yeah. you would... You would interview me in Sahel, you know, yeah. we would enjoy, we would there. Today it's off limits. Right. Look at North East Nigeria, now mm -hmm. it's very difficult. Look at now what's happening in Yemen, look at what's happening in Syria. Mm -hmm. So I'm a bit worried that the international community, both at the political level, at the finance level, at the humanitarian level, find it so difficult to deal with this problem that they will disregard this country and these people. And that worries me. Eve, thank you so much for coming by the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos. And I'm Edie Lush.